Right, today we're looking at the uh, Sacking SK2500 meter. Um, this setup uh, video is the same for the 2500A, B, and uh, in the future C. So we just turn it on at the bottom. Just allow the unit to load up. You see, there is the main menu. Uh, by default, it already starts on DVB T2, that's what we're interested in. There's a few other options here DVB C, that is for uh, cable networks, uh, multi channel mode, spectrum mode, but really, most people are just using this on DVB T to use that. Press the OK button. You see, now it lands by default on channel 6 which is the lowest digital channel in Australia that happens to be uh, channel 7 in Melbourne you can see the lock light actually comes straight on so we know straight away there's a channel there if we want to look at another channel just using the, uh, the arrow left and right you'll see the lock button we're now on number 9 channel 9 in Melbourne but there's no channel occupying that for DVB-T uh, so the lock lights disappeared so anyway we'll go back to channel 6 because that's where it landed now we have the option here uh, of going in to check the signal levels so just press the uh, enter key again press OK you can see it's accompanied by a loud beeper as well which in the office is very loud but uh, when you're up on the roof it's quite handy you can see all the signal levels there. MER, BER, and some basic levels there to tell you very quickly what signal level you've got. Now once you read a scan, you're going to select red to just scan the one channel, the one network, or green, which will select and scan all channels that are available. So I'm going to select everything, so green. And it does give us the option that this will clear the database, even though this one's got no channels in there already. But so we're gonna we're gonna agree with that. Yes. Now we're gonna start scanning all the channels in. So this will scan through VHF first and then all the way through UHF, so it will take some time. Now of course to do this scanning you'll need a signal first, so you'll need to align your antenna, get that signal, get those signal bars running, and then you can either press red to scan the one transponder or green to scan them all. Normally when you're doing an installation job, you're not really too concerned with the actual channels, you just want to check the signal levels. So you'll check the signal levels for the channels in your area. In our area the channels are on 6, 7, 8, uh, 10 and 12. Alright, we're halfway through here. And you can see we've already skipped up to one channel I didn't mention there, which is channel 31. That's the community channel. Uh, that's on channel 44 at the moment. It's it's is still transmitting, but uh, as we keep hearing, it'll each month is going to disappear, but it's still still available. You can see now the frequency. We're up into the high 700s now. There's no channels up in those regions anymore. That's been sold off to uh, the mobile phone operators. So 100% we're all done, just wait. Now here we go, we've landed on uh, the first channel, uh, which is channel 1, so we can check some other channels. And 
this is a HD meter, so we can also check the HD service as well. So there's there's a HD service, channel 10 HD. There we go, nice clear picture. So basically that is how to turn on, find a frequency and scan all the channels in. As simple as that. Thank you for watching.